Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Shadowrun Hong Kong Extended Edition. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that you chose to join me today because we're continuing on with a search of uh, Lamb's PDA. Uh, and apparently the guy thought that Crate was a good girl? I I don't know. I, well, is a real a, a good girl. I don't know. She's still alive. I... Hmm. Let's see the... Uh, so we, la we read the first message. We didn't read the second message. Let's read the second message. Uh, Mr. Lamb, much as I appreciate your concern, this is from Crate, by the way, much as I appreciate your concern for the citizens of Hong Kong, it is not your place to question my tactics. The behavior of the SCDU is none of your concern. The changes that you hope to see will never come about while Mitsuhama is viewed favorably by the Executive Council. Our, clients, uh, uh, our client wants to see its reputation tarnished. Mitsuhama? Tarnished? Huh. And a certain amount of heavy-handedness on our part is necessary to make that happen. It's all a part of the plan, Senior Inspector. You do your job, and let me do mine. Alright, so that's where Crate and her people come into this. The massacre at the end of the Kowloon City riots, the police brutality that led to the riots in the first place. They were all intended to hurt Mitsuhama's PR. What's the end goal? Go uh, end goal. Why would anyone s spend this much money to tank the reputation of, of, of their own police force? Hmm. Yeah, that's... I'm not sure I understand what the changes are all about here. Uh, but apparently, the, yeah, the message said something about the cha about changes. It was pretty hazy on the details, though. Yeah, hazy. Let's keep reading. Uh, so, can I ask something else about this message or something? Nope. <clears throat> apparently not. Okay. And that was the inbox, right? Yes, indeed it was. So, the last thing... Is oh I can hack the PDA back oh I can hand the PDA back to Q yeah let's look at the trash bin hopefully there's not gonna be anything too terrible in there oh I should have read that okay once um, yeah okay so once you've delivered Q to report to me and we'll have you relocated to typo okay so we've read this before wait a minute oh that's the trash bin I want the junk junk mail folder yeah that's the one okay so yeah search the junk mail folder for tagged messages oh so that's how it works let's see create mm, none. Let's see, Sil. None. Hmm. Huh. Q? Do I even know what to write Q? Q. None. Qui? Is it Qui? Nah. I don't know. Queen, maybe? Let's search for Queen. See if there's anything on the Queen. Nope. Kowloon? No, Kowloon. Uh, should I. What's a Wall City? Yeah, Wall City. Let's see. Well, I may, I may be wasting my time here. Eh, I probably am. Anyway, let's return to the main menu and hand the PDA back to Q. That's how we write that one. <laughs> I think that's everything we're, we're getting. She accepts the device, a grim expression on her face. Yeah, I'm thinking that maybe you're right. Q turns the PDA over in her hand and flips off the device's power switch. The screen flickers and dies. She rubs her eyes, drawing your attention to the dark hollows beneath, underneath them. All right. So here's what we got. Crate and her people are working for someone powerful and rich. Probably a megacorp, but we don't know who. They're trying to tank Mitsuhama's reputation with the executive council so that they can bring about some kind of change inside the HKPF. And they've got a facility in Taipo that they're keeping under heavy guard. Yeah, sounds about right to me. It isn't much, is it? We don't even know who we're fighting against. Well, it's enough. We know where we're going next. Taipo. You're right. That's where we'll find our answers. We'll need a plan. We just can't go, go, can't go in blind. Uh, well, I've walked in, into worse situations and come back out again. You don't know what it, it was like in Walled City. You're right, I don't. And I am sure that you have plenty, you are plenty tough. But we are likely to be very seriously outgunned when we get to Typo. And I don't like the idea of going in without a plan. I'm going to reach out to my contacts, see if I can pull any more strings. You go back to your boat and inform the rest of your team. I'll call you when I know more. Okay, I'll go talk to them then. Good, I'll be in touch. Okay, seems pretty simple, straightforward, no side quests or anything. Let's get out of here, and uh, yes, mission item removed, everything seems to be in order. These guys are going to say the same old thing, and I need to go to the Defiance, to the old boat. Use. Oh, Hey again, welcome back, you uh, find anything of use? Um, no, but we know where we're going. Crit's client has a warehouse in Taipo that uh, the SDU is guarding. Oh, that's not what I was hoping to hear. I don't like going into a fight without knowing who I'm up against. Well, 
QS Day is talking to her corporate contacts. With luck, we can end this thing with, with a calm call. Somehow, I doubt that it'll be that easy, my friend. These things seldom are. But perhaps your PDA buzz is cutting him off. Q. Yeah, let's answer the call. Q's face flickers onto the PDA's view screen. She looks haggard, even more so than before. The call was a buzz still. I've, got, uh, I've still got a few execs willing to go to bat for me, but the rest have already written us off as a failure. Nobody's gonna risk sparking off a corp war on my say-so, and I can't even tell them who they have, they'd be fighting against. We're gonna need a hell of a lot more than we've got if we're going to convince anyone to move on this. Figures. We're on our own, then. Yeah, looks that way. We're gonna have to face whatever's a typo without any assistance or backup. It's either that or sit here on this barge for the foreseeable future. Q lets out a long sigh. Look, Sil, I told you that you and your team would be well compensated for helping me, but I never really specified exactly what your reward would be. I think that you should know. Um, yeah, we can worry about this when the job is done. No, I think that you should know up front. There's good news, something that I think you're going to be excited about, but there's a healthy dose of bad news too. I don't want you to go in, I don't want you going into this with any inflated ideas of what'll happen when the job is done. We'll start with the bad news. I can't put a monetary value on what your team will receive. Truth be told, I'm going to have to wrestle with the corporate to get them much of anything. Uh, a lot of a uh, cost of renting, <coughs> excuse me. A lot of the cost of renting out the Bantang came out of what had been set aside for your reward. Excuse me, what? <laughs> You'll still get paid, I promise you that. I just won't be enough to retire on. Nothing I can do about it. That's just the way it has to be. Gobet crosses her arms over her chest, a disgust look in her, on her face. Yeah, I'm sure it is. We never should have trusted... Q's voice cuts in, talking over her. As for you, Seal, you're a different story. For you, I've got something better than money. Well... <laughs> there is nothing better than money. <laughs> well, yeah, keep talking, I guess. I can get you your sin restored. Duncan's too. I can give you your old lives back. Holy shit. That's right. I imagine imagine the doors that'll open for you. You can return to Seattle, pretend that none of this ever happened. Hell, you can do whatever you want, and you can do it completely above board. What I'm offering you is the freedom to make your own choices again. The same freedom that Crate and Josephine Sang and Kindly Chang took away from you. Anyway, I just wanted you to know what's on the line before we add it out to, to typo. I'm going to get my kit ready. I'd recommend that you do the same. Yeah, hold action on that queue. There are still some jobs. Oh, are there? No, they are not. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, I'm on it. Let's finish this. Go to Jomo when you're ready. He'll sneak us into typo and we'll bring this thing to a close. Oh, and still, I can. Promise you that we'll come back to Bantang after this is over? Taking the sights now because uh, it might be the last chance you get. Got it. I'll see you at Jomo's boat. She begins to look away and seems to think better of it. The camera refocuses on her face. Oh, and uh, Seal, your boss is Rock. That Kong that you took from Eddie Pang got broken in the move. I found it about 50 pieces when we got here. It's in the waste basket under my desk if you still want it, but I can imagine it's worth much of anything more. Ah. Uh, Sorry about that. The video feed... <laughs> and she goes away. The video feed crackles and dies. Q's face wings off, off, off uh, your PDA and the display goes dark. Well, this presents us with something of a conundrum, my friend. He takes a drag on his cigarette and slowly re re releases the smoke through his nostrils. Koshe paws at the ground. If this payment goes through, your shadow running days with this team are over. With a sin, you would be a liability. You could perhaps remain in Hehoi, but you'd need to find a different line of work. Yeah, a difficult decision. I'll put some thought into it. See that you do. For now, we just have a job to prepare for. Kindly Chang wishes us to complete this task, and so we will. Payday or no. This conspiracy could pose a threat to the Yellow Lotus, and we cannot say with certainty whether it does or not until we enter the warehouse in Taipo. Yeah, well, let's hope that that's gonna be enough to enter it and just complete the quest. Um, yeah, you're right. Get ready. We got a secure facility to raid. And everybody, everybody returns to their posts. How lovely. Let's just check our email very quickly. See our inbox if uh, Cheng sent anything. No, she did not. Let's go downstairs, maybe talk to somebody, and then upstairs, and then uh, Duncan, maybe, talk to him a little bit. Hey man, how's it going? Rector glances up from his workstation, an eyebrow arcing upwards as he turns to face you. Well, my friend, our fortunes have undergone an uh, interesting turn. 
Have they not? I, w I would not have thought of to myself cast out uh, to sea. But here we are. Hmm, to find myself. I have not a thought to find myself cast out to sea. Uh, well, it beats, it beats going back to the impound yard and getting sworn by cops. Indeed. In point, in fact, I am rather enjoying the change of scenery. There's something soothing, almost meditative, in watching sea mines bob to, motion, to the motion of the waves. They're really quite lovely, you know. Like enormous sea urchins with shells of rusted iron, pregnant with destructive potential. Yeah, I'll give you this, Rector. You have an interesting way of looking at the world. Yes, my friend, I suppose I do. They will forgive me, my flight of fancy, I'm sure. <laughs> what do you think of our last run? I wasn't there. Of course you weren't. Kind of forgot about, about that, actually. Who was in the last run? I think it was the same old team. So, Gaichu was not in there. Gaichu is seated cross-legged on the floor of his cabin, his sword and sheet in front of him. An array of tools rests nearby, and the air is thick with the scent of clove oil. The tools include a stack of small paper squares, several stones, a tiny metal pick, and a high... What the hell? And a high-tech vice grip of some sort. He raises a hand in greeting as you enter. Pardon me if you, I do not stand still. Fine as these swords may be, they require as much maintenance as any other weapon. Burrs to be sent out, dents to be reformed. Reformed? Dents to be reformed? Hmm. Etc. The solitaire here does the blades no favors. Please make yourself at home. What's the vice grip for? It's, it is a diamond coating rebounder. You cannot replace the die coat, the coat, the coat, I don't know, process that covers the blades, but it can patch spots where the diamond edge coating has worn away and become rough. The materials are rather expensive, as you may guess. Now, what may I do for you? Well, nothing. He's just taking care of his blade, I suppose. And not in any personal way that I wouldn't want to see, probably, because he's a ghoul and also other reasons. Let's get out of here. <laughs> before he starts polishing his other blade. Let's get out of here before I start, con uh, before I continue saying nonsense. Isabel! Hi, girl! What are you doing? Stale metallic air fills the room. Oh, she's still doing this? Yeah, I'll come back later. <laughs> she's still doing this? Come on, Isabel, still looking after the bird. What about you, Gobat? Hey, man. Girl. You enter Gobat's cabin to find her gulping something from a cheap set plastic mug. As the mug's contents slosh and chum, a sharp antiseptic note stings your nostrils. She glances up from her d drink and locks eyes with you. The pirates make this. I think it's like a kind of whiskey. I don't know what they make it from, but it tastes like salty turpentine. <laughs> yeah, it smells vile. It is vile, but it kicks like a mule, so that's something. You want some? Sure, hit me with it. She hands you the mug, the antiseptic odor hits you in the sinuses again, bringing water to your eyes. It smells anything but appetizing, but it doesn't look much better. Yeah, bottoms up, I guess. Oh boy, I am not gonna... <laughs> you tilt back the mug and fill your mouth with liquor. The flavor is repulsive, it's closer to an industrial solvent than beverage, and your stomach turns as the fluid traces a grainy, fiery trail down your throat. Every bodily instinct, instinct that you possess urges you to spit it out, to purge yourself of the horrible poison that you've ingested. Yeah, let's spit it out. You spit out the liquor in an, in an aerosolized plume. Oh, man. Gobat leaps back with a squeak as the spray washes over her face. Oh, sorry. Watch it! If that stuff is going to, if that stuff is going to blind me, I want it to be because I was drinking it, not because my team leader spat it in my eyes. Yeah, well, that was Ratchet but I, I tasted like paint thinner with a lemon in it. I never said it'd be good, just said that it'd, it'd do the job, but I guess that it can't now, because you went all Moby Dick and sprayed all over the place. I'm gonna have to go back to Tough and Jared to get more, and when I do, you can't have any. Yeah, I can live with that. Mind if I ask you some questions? Sure, fine. What do you think of our last run? Well, we got some answers, and we didn't get killed. That's something, I guess. Can't say I'm thrilled about being betrayed like we were, or hunted down, or any of that, but I guess that it beats getting shot. If there's a silver lining to be found here, I guess it's that we know who's behind Crate and uh, her people. Well, do we? No, we don't. Hmm. Anyway, granted that somebody is one of the worst megacorps in the world to get on the wrong side of, but at least we know who we're fighting, so there's that. Do we? I mean, hmm, I think there might be a bug. Is she going to tell the name of the corporation? Because I'm kind of curious. Hmm. Anyway, let's talk about something else. Yeah, see you later. Gotta run. Let's have a chat with Duncan. He's gonna have something to say. And hopefully he's not gonna hand me... I mean, I, I was trying to impress her. That's that's why I, I drank that. Probably wouldn't have. Anyway, she's always nice, so... You find Duncan pacing the small room, his thoughts elsewhere, but his reverie breaks as soon as you approach him. He seems thankful for a distraction. Hey, what's up? Uh, what do you think of our last run? 
Duncan greets his teeth at the question. That traitor. For all the senior inspectors this planning and big promises, this task force ended up being boned just as badly as we usually do by our own clients. Leaking information, switching sides, raising the stakes. I know that as runners, it's us versus everyone else, but it's it's at times like these when I really feel it. Well, we might have lost our advantage, but that's never stopped us before. Yeah, and it won't stop us now. I just... I needed to vent. Eh, thanks for listening, Kalim. We're balls deep in this now. No way out. Ah, yeah. Let's kind of run. Let's get this show on the road, because this is going to be, I think, the last quest. The last mission, the last run of the Shadows. And, uh, well, we are still Shadowrunners. We're still uh, sinless, so we are still Shadowrunners. I want to go to Q's place. Where the hell is she? Uh, I don't have a quest marker. Oh, is she? Tough. Jomo, yeah. So apparently I can go over there. I wanted to go there. I wanted to see. Didn't she say that it was something over there? That, uh, where the. Anyway, the Kong or whatever that thing was. For Kindly Shang. Ah, who cares? Hey, Jomo, how's it going? Uh, should I buy more stuff? Actually, right now I am kind of interested in some weapons. Let's spend our money. Where the hell's the Quartermaster? There's the Quartermaster. And these big ass cannons. I like how they look. Uh, yeah, let's see our special special stock. So, I guess I could go with an Ingram Super Mac, something SMG-ish good. Well, this is this looks pretty awesome, so let's go with that. Is that an SMG? It's a shotgun, so not awesome. I want an SMG. Rifle, uh, this one is a rifle, rifle, rifle. Okay, so I want an SMG. That's probably going to be this, the Ingram Super Mac. I'm not sure if Gobat has uh, implements, but hopefully... She doesn't, and I'm not just... Oh! The icon is missing. Why would that be missing? Oh, because it's... I think this is a thing that we picked up at the last mission, and the game is not a... The game doesn't know what that we should have this, but it's fine. Okay. Anything else? No, thanks. I'll see you later, man. See you later. Well, probably never. Hope you guys find your way back home, though. But, yeah, hopeful hopefully we're gonna... Kill crate or whatever we're gonna do. I don't really know what kind of change she wants. Maybe we're gonna get to join her or something. Hey, Jomo. Things all sorted out now? Utapa happy? Q2? How can Jomo help you today? Well, yeah. Let's finish this. Take me to typo to face crate. You sure? Might be a one-way trip. Yeah, take me there. Okay, so who are we gonna take? Well, of course it's gonna be... No, not Rector. Even though I would like Rector to be on our team, it's gonna be the same old team. And there we go. That's the same old team right there. Confirm. Travel to Typo? Hell yeah. Last mission on the run. Loading right now. That's why it's... Oh, there we go. Typo. You watch the Bantang drift slowly out of view as the drunken mistake bobs turbulently on dra dark, choppy wa waves. Angry rain dimples the water's surface and obscures the world around you in a haze. Before long, the warehouses appear on the horizon, great gray silhouettes looming just beyond the docks. Great and her people are guarding a, war ha a warehouse there. You don't know what you're going to find inside, but this is the last lead that you have to follow. If the conspiracy within the SDU is going to be stopped, it has to happen tonight, in that warehouse. Q sits nearby, her hands resting on her temples, a sign of her distress, but she remains silent, holding a stiff upper lip uh, throughout the ride. The mistake pulls, so that's the drunken mistake, the boat pulls up a typo. Once a small fishing village, now home to the Skyline Industrial ware Warehouses unfolding before you. Water whips down from the sky as the speedboat bumps against the docks. If I say warehouse every once in a while, it's just my stupid accent. I apologize, but it's gonna, yeah. If it's funny, awesome. Otherwise, just, I apologize. <laughs> so let's see, a stair, he's not gonna, oh, he's gonna be able to use that. Awesome. So you use that and you use the Emperor's Sword as well. Uh, Isabel, yeah, I'll see to your weapons later. Let's see, I have... Oh, yeah, okay, so that's that's the weapon that Duncan was not able to use before. Uh, let's see. This Barrett modal something. Can't really... Yeah, man. Well, it's gonna have two, that's fine. That is okay, let's just equip this one. I, I bought it, but I probably shouldn't have. Uh, yeah, there we go. And as for my other stuff, I have the Nemesis and I have the Room Sweeper, and that is that. As for Isabel, she has uh, this thing, which I believe this is better. So there we go. Uh, as for Duncan, well, he has his stuff already, and uh, she's gonna get this. And can she? Oh, she requires... Why? Come on! Come on, really? I bought this for nothing? 
Ugh. Okay, whatever you say. Uh, let's see. Can she use this? I don't think she can. Nope, she cannot. Send blaster. Oh, I don't need her to use that either, so it's fine. Uh, can she use this? What is that? Apparently she can. Well, stay stay with it. It's gonna be weird, though. No, don't want that over there. <laughs> um, now, healing-wise and all that. Uh, so first things first, I'm gonna have to stock up on uh, on Maddy packs. Let's put this over in here, and of course the game is a bit weird as always. And just do this, does this for some reason. So two many Maddy packs there should be okay. I will take. We only have one platinum. Uh. Well, that's going to be for Duncan, because he's got the highest um, health. So she takes that free... That's free. <clears throat> excuse me. So she takes two gold, I suppose. And... Yeah, one gold. <clears throat> excuse me. Man, my voice. It's running away from me. Hopefully, it's going to... I have a sip of... I will take a sip of water. So let's give him this and this. And maybe another one, and just in case, there we go. Actually, the grenade, I'm going to equip that grenade on somebody else. It's all good. So these two go there. Come on. There we go. Yeah. Okay, so he's... And Gobit, of course. Gobit has one of those, so she's going to take these. It's not going to be the best thing in the world, but what is? <laughs> what is the best thing in the world? Well, to each his own, I suppose. Um, so I will take these, and then the grenades... We're gonna find a lot of grenadiers for sure, but I hate those guys. Absolutely hate those guys. We got smoke grenades. No, not interested in those. I have also this thing that adds quickness and action points, so that's pretty awesome. This adds three action. Two. Mm, that's pretty cool as well. You probably should bring this one and you should use them more, but. Eh. Anyway. Now, go bat, which I think is. Yeah, should have gone to the left. Um, so, yeah, go bat is gonna have a few spells. So that'd be the strip armor, and that would be the life siphon. There we go. And those are all spells that I picked up on the way here, not really spells that I bought. So there we go. That's our team, and we are ready to go, hopefully. Are we? We are. Oh, I haven't spent karma? Sure. Go right ahead, man. Want to spend that karma right there. Uh, although I'm not sure where I should... Oh, I probably... Mm. Yeah, quickness it is. Quickness it is. So this is going to increase the chance to hit, so bring that up. Um, everything else is kind of like meh. I will keep that. I don't usually use this, so it's kind of like totally pointless. Uh, but just go ahead. I mean, it's going to be fine. It's raining a lot. Can we move? Cold rain lashes your face as you take your place on the typo dock. The storm is loud, practically deafening. Periodic thunderclaps roar like distant cannon fire, and the flash of lightning stabs at your eyes. Q stands before you, bracing herself against the storm. She turns to Captain Jomo, practically shouting to be heard over the howling, uh, howling wind. Jomo, any chance anyone caught sight of us on the way in? The pirate cups his hands to his mouth and barks out a reply. You insult me! Great traitorous pigs were as blind to our approach as... She shouts back, cutting him short. Yes, we got it, thank you! She pauses a moment as a sudden gust of wind nearly, nearly blows her over. Straightening, she leans towards you. Alright, here we are. We know that the SDU is patrolling the area, but we have no idea what else we might find. We still don't know who's behind this wolf thing. Captain Jomo leans into the group. Perhaps you should go exploring, yeah? Do a little of legwork that you Shadowrunners are so fond of. Exploring could get us, could help us, yes, but it should also sink us. It could also sink us. If I know Crate, she'll have kill teams stationed at over Tapo. All over Tapo. The more we wander around, the more resistance we're going to face. And the last thing we want is to tip them off that we're here. She turns to you, water streaming off her face. Still, why are we not resting in there? Uh, come on, waiting in there. Yeah. Still, when we do find a group of Crate's people, we need to be surgical. Take them from ambush if possible and kill them quickly. That means we creep ahead, not sprint, and we, if we spot them, we shoot them before they catch sight. Excuse me, hiccup. It's all the rain. Uh, they catch sight of us. Got it? Yeah, don't worry about me. Are you going to be alright? I'm as good as I'm gonna, as I'm gonna be. It's still pounding like a jackhammer, but I'll manage. We've got an element of surprise on our side. On top of that, visibility and calm reception have been shot to shit by the storm. All these things are good to us. Gobet huddles forward, her teeth chattering, her rats peek out of her pockets. Yeah, I just love shadow running in zero visibility weather and with ice water surging around my knees and no feeling in my fingers. It's fucking amazing! Alright, let's do it! She claps uh, you, on, you on the shoulder, her hand feels like ice. Lead on, Seal. 
And I remember, when you see hostiles, take them out. If they manage to raise an alarm, you'd better believe that security personnel will flood into their warehouse. And that's a complication that we don't need. Okay, got it. Let's get it going, folks. Because I have my fi my fingers are also very cool, very chilly, very icy. Uh, so let's creep ahead. See this? Oh, wait a minute. Oh, yeah, we're not on a boat anymore. I thought this was going to be covered, but apparently it's not. Let me just save the game there. That way is a dead end, so let's creep ahead this way. It's not covered, so we're going to take... Actually, let me make sure that I can start combat at any time. Apparently, we don't have quest markers, which is perfect, because I like exploration. Hmm. Oh! Can take him out from here? I sure can. Start combat. Start the goddamn combat, come on! Okay, so we got a captain back there. We got a, two captains here. No, it's a mage. First, we need to focus on that one right there. The, I don't think they've heard us or something. Let's see. Room sweeper here. Oh, I can disarm them. That's right. Have that ability. So this thing here, I'd rather do this. It's going to deal more damage. I can't attack from there. Well, it's going to work. Okay. That guy took a bit of damage. Just a tiny bit, but can I shoot from here? No. Okay. So let's see who can shoot from back here. Is that you? No, not that. Not with that weapon, that's for sure. Okay, I think that guy is behind cover. Not really sure how that is gonna go. I can't really tell where my cover is either. Is that cover over there? You move in. Can I shoot? No, I can't. Okay, so at least the cl I'm not really sure what... I might have done just a bad thing right now. Um, okay, let's try and take this guy out with my gun first. Double tap there. Should take care of him. And down he goes. He had something. And now we're in combat, apparently. Well, apparently we weren't before. That's okay. Uh, this is a captain. Is he behind cover? Yes, he is. I got a fix for that, which is amazing. Let's use this thing. Oh, game. Okay. Don't chug on me. Let's use this thing on him. And please don't miss. Nope, that was a miss. Please don't miss. That was not a miss. And now he's no longer behind cover. Perfect. Now, I should... Yeah, I should be able to crit him maybe if I hit him nope no crits and please hit him again no crits still mm, lovely uh, sand blaster I should have used the sand blaster mm. let's just hope for crits here that guy is gonna be uh, our problem next turn okay so a burst uh, it's it's so hard to hit this guy it's so goddamn hard to hit this guy chain lightning is it gonna work it's not gonna work so let's just can she shoot back there? She cannot. Well, let's hope for a couple of crits. I'm not really critting anything. And I'm not really hitting anything. Let's see what that guy does. Hmm. Don't forget, he's a captain. That's a miss. That's amazing. There's somebody up there, which is bad. How the hell is there somebody up there? Oh, there's... There's definitely somebody up there. I might be doing very bad things here, by the way. Mm -hmm. uh, so let's see. This guy needs a bullet to the face with a quickness. But I'm gonna move up. Let's see. Maybe I don't need to move up. Let's see what you can do with uh, this thing here. What's the damage of this one and what's the damage of this one? Yeah, the M23 is not that really that good. Okay, so that's not good. It's really, really not good. Come on, you're missing everything, man. Okay, so I need to move you over there. And you're gonna double tap and kill that guy if you can. How the hell? Oh, I can't double tap. Why can't you double tap, man? Did I shoot already? Okay, okay, that's good, that's good. Mm-hmm, uh, so I have covered here. There's no, is that a passage through here? There is, you can, they can pass through here, okay, that's good. Uh, let's move in there, and then shoot from there, which is basically the only thing I can do at the moment. Ten, nine damage there is perfect. Now, uh, let's see, this is not gonna hurt them both, so might as well not do that. Let's cast, um... Poison Fog, because that works loverly. And if I do this, maybe they're going to be dumb. Who knows? Did I cast the right spell? I didn't cast the right spell, did I? I did. Oh, it's right there, the poison. That's good. Um, and then you can try to kill this guy. And down he goes. Perfect. Now you, if you can move right up and use the chain lightning, that's going to work. But only if you can hit both of them. At least the first one, which doesn't happen. He's got a grenade. Amazing. At least it was a fa flashbang. Of course, that means we're going to be out of combat turns. Nope. That's not a flashbang. Alright, it's our first wounds of the combat. 
That's our second one of the combat. Now I can heal him with ease as long as I do this. Okay, there we go. So, yeah. Okay, so we are very much under pressure right now. So let's see what I can do with this weapon. Let's see the, uh, the damage on this. It's pretty awesome. It's pretty awesome. I don't have crit chance, though. Yeah. Okay, no crit there. Um, yeah, unsurprising, if I'm honest. Judging by my luck, well, not in this game, and actually being fairly lucky in this game. Uh, let's see, can you attack with this? What does it do? Nothing interesting. It does... No. Let's go with that. Hmm, nice. Okay, so you... Uh... Hmm. I guess, just go up and do that. A crit, that's okay. And damage, that is not okay. Okay, minus one action point there. That's uh, four damage right there, and more damage. That's the last wound, that's okay. She can heal him, but not right now, unfortunately. So now you need to be away from there, Sil. You cannot be in that position right now. See what you can do there. You can almost kill that guy, or actually kill him. Perfect. Oh, damn it. Okay, so that's bad, because he's going to be shot. That's really bad. Uh, now, all we can do from here right now, I think, is going to be to use the beanbag on whoever. Probably miss. Yeah. I was half expecting that. Or uh, maybe move in. Let's move in. Uh, it's going to be bad. I kind of wish I could have killed Seal. That's kind of terrible. Move in right there. Use this thing here because it works. Uh, actually, easy behind cover. He's not... Oh, can you shoot that guy? With a crit? Nope, you can miss. Now reload your stuff and you're gonna hang back here. Maybe you're gonna flush that guy? That, that'd work. That would work. A little bit of damage there. At least that's some damage. It's better, better than what she would be able to do with her weapon. And there we go. Okay. Now, uh, who can she shoot? That guy. Hopefully hit. Nope. I was not expecting that to happen, actually. Wasn't expecting her to hit. Man. Okay. Our first kill. Or our first death, I guess. Uh, can you be healed? Not this turn. So, you're gonna need something amazing. No, no crits. Well, I can't. I have a fix for that. It just takes a little bit, but I have a fix for that. Let's do that. Oh, I miss. Well, I can go again. And hit him once. That's good. Now, you can shoot him twice and then get behind cover because he's not behind cover. There you go, and now he's dead. As he should have been all along. So let's bring you over there. I'll try to heal you next turn. For right now, let's see what I can do here. A couple of grenades should do the trick if I hit. And I do, even though it said I missed, but nope. This is an amazing weapon here. And he's almost dead. He should die this turn. Oh, mm, yeah, he should. Not sure if he will, but he should. Let's do this thing here. Miss all of them, just as expected. Not really counting on hitting a single one. There we go. Now, you... Mm, you're not gonna do anything, are you? You are! Surprise, surprise! Perfect. So we got the hill? Did we get the hill? Hopefully we got the hill. Uh, eliminate alerted enemies before they call... Oh, come on. Well... That was a failure, but it's okay. We're gonna kill everybody, and we should survive, hopefully. Well, that's not gonna be for this one. It's gonna be for the next episode. For now, I'm Colonel RPG, and this has been Shadowrun Hong Kong Extended Edition. I really hope you've enjoyed it, and if you did, go ahead and leave a comment, like the video, but above all, thank you so much for watching, and I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye!